Hello, today I want to make a video in response to something I saw on the internet called Math and Inconvenient Truth. And I just want to basically share with you some things that I feel are important to get out there so you can see that doing math is really not that hard. Now the person in the video showed a couple examples I want to talk about. She showed a number that was a 2 by 2 calculation and it showed how to break it down using a couple of systems that I don't even want to talk about because I find them to be a a bit too recondite, a little bit too hard to understand and to use. Let me talk about what she showed. She did 26 times 31. Now, if you understand math and you're like a detective, you can kind of see things and know where you're going to start and where you're going to end. Now, the possibility here is going to be based on the left side of the equation, which would be the 2 and the 3. And 2 times 3 is 6. But since it's a double number, it's going to be 60 or 600. Okay? So what you have here is you have 600 as your base number and you know it's going to end with a 6 because you have the 26 times 31. Okay? So that's why you have a 60 and a 6 or 606. And that will be your base number. If you look at that, if you were to just get that number right in, in paper, and say, okay, I'm going to start to break the number down. You would simply say, okay, look on the left. I see 2 times 3. It's going to be 6. I know it's a double number, so it's going to be 600. And then I know it's going to end in a 6. So it's going to be 606 is my starting point. Now, the number that you're going to be looking at to solve the problem is what I call the hidden number. And that's hidden in the fact that you have two numbers you have to kind of deal with. You have 2 times 1, and you have... 6 times 3, and that's going to be 20. That's 18 and 2, 20. And so you simply add that number to your first total. You have 606, you add the 2 of the totals you have to that number to make it into an 8. Now, if you do that, you'll see it works every time, and it's going to be a comfortable way of breaking a number down. Now, that should be taught when you're very young. It's like learning a second language. If you're taught a second language when you're very young, you don't fight against it. You simply learn it, use it, and it becomes part of your working knowledge. But if you get older and you start to learn things, you start to fight it because you say, I'm not used to doing that and it doesn't make any sense. But it really does make sense if you do it this way. Now also, if you look at the way she showed that um, division number, she had 6 divided into 133. Now, I can actually cite, break that down, just by looking at it. If I have uh, a 6 into 133, I'm going to look at the first two numbers and say, how many times does 6 go into 13? I know 6 times 2 is 12, so it's twice. I put the 2 down, and then I know there's one left over. So I'll add that 1 to the next 3 in the line and say 13 again. So same thing, it's going to be a 2. So you have 22. Now you're going to your fraction. When the number is after the, the final number, for example, you have nothing left over but a 1, that's going to go into the fractional portion of your division. And so you don't look at that as a 1, but as a 10. And you say to yourself, how many times does 6 go in 10? It's 1 time. So you write down, it's 0.1. Okay? And then what's left over? It's 4. It's not really a 4, it's 40. Anything below the fraction, below the decimal point, is going to be in the tens. Okay? It starts to go, go backwards. So instead of being 4 is 40, and of course 6 times 6 is 36, so it goes into it 6 times, you have 4 left over again, same thing, you've got another 6. So your answer would be 2, 2.166, and then there's 6 is forever. And that's easy to do. And not only is that easy to do, it's also fun because you're investigating the answer. Okay? So the way I like to break down math is through using logic, by using my sight and seeing what I can derive from the beginning, and then investigate to see if I can make it clearer and faster and more intuitive for me to break the numbers down. So go back and watch the video. See if what I said isn't true. And you'll see it really is true. It doesn't have to be that hard. Okay? So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Good night.